Oh, what's going on everybody here and welcome back or welcome welcome back. We've never played this. This is the first time welcome to flooded. So today we're checking out flooded. Now this is like a um, it's a reverse city builder um, and in in the ways that you start building a city and the ocean rises yeah that's right so you have to like start building stuff start getting stuff going and then you can start building i think you can start building like um like docks and things like that you know to expand out as needed but like you have to get the stuff going first so we're gonna hop into it i've never played it hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things so um campaign follow the story of a group of miners whose peaceful lives were turned upside down in the blink of an eye by an enigmatic cataclysm Explore uninhabited islands, meet new allies, fight a mysterious invaders from the north, and discover the secret beyond the Great Flood. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Miles is a strategist. Strategist. <laughs> um, relic features. You know, I honestly have no idea what we're doing here. Um, chapter one, the journey begins. We're going to go on normal and play, I guess. I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, we'll see as we go. All right, yet another uh, arduous day comes to an end. What a great job we've done. I'm so lucky to be working with people as reliable as you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Miles. Working in a mine is quite a pain, but hell, it's satisfying. By the way, I've been wondering, wondering. Yeah, just thinking. Yeah. If I could just maybe spit it out, get a raise. Good heaven, what's that? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. I'm talking about that. Look over there. Holy cow, the water level's rising uncontrollably. Everything's flooded. And the ocean is spreading as far as the eye can see. Our mine here on the mountain has become an island just like that. I couldn't have put it better myself. Uh, but we need to stay calm. It doesn't seem to be over just yet. We need to find a way to get out of here before the whole island's underwater. Let's get back to the mine. No time to rest now. And no time for my raise either, huh? What? Ah, never mind. <laughs> Let's break the news to the others. All right, so the game takes place across the develop uh, four development areas. You must complete all objectives of each area and then pay the required resource cost to progress to the next area. Era, 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 not area, era. Um, in order to win, you must reach the fourth development area and complete the main objective. Besides the usual objectives, each level features two additional blue side objectives that are marked with a diamond. That are not required to advance to the next era, but they the completion will reward you with crystals for unlocking unique rewards. Okay. Your main task during the game will be to place various types of buildings at the bottom of the screen. You'll see build menu. Okay, cool. Um, calm ocean. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can actively see. Wait, that's our water. Oh, okay. So we've got wells right here. So this is. Oh my gosh. We got like. What is this? I don't know what these are right here. Okay. And then we've got miners, open pit mine, level one. Okay. Don't let the water drop below a hundred. Uh, build buildings, living quarters, build buildings well. So I feel like we want these on the highest places. Oh, look at that. We got like a, uh, we got like a little, um, a little a little island of paris over here <laughs> okay so uh mining water what is this living quarters okay so that is considered for we already have a couple cost is 500 can't place buildings when time is paused really remember that each building requires a specific type of surface uh, example land or ocean left click to begin construction you can continue placing on the buildings or right click to exit the build mode okay so there's one two three four uh miners mine for ores and mines using water in the process build living quarters to increase the number of miners and wells to increase the water production the more miners you have the greater the ore production but you will must remember to supply them with enough water to work okay got it so now we also need to get four wells. Oh, but we don't have enough. Okay, but we're on the rise here. All right, so now we can get another well. Probably should place this next to water. Like, I feel like that's probably a good idea. You know what? We'll just set that one right there. Okay. Oh, wait, that's only two. Uh, we need four total, though, don't we? And hold on, wait for the next one. Boom, baby. Okay, we're good. We got it. We got it. We did it. 
All right, wells are being built. Oh, wow. Don't let water drop below 100. Woo. The resource amount is growing. Okay. Oh, wow. We're like, oh, so when this, the, when this is full, they stop. And then the, the water will go ahead and then fill up real fast. Okay. But as soon as they start working again, it's going to go back down. Oh, okay. 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 We got it. Got it. Got it. Um, open mine pits. So, oh, I need to build these on here. Don't I? So one there and we need 2000. Oh my gosh. We need 2000 ore for that one. So basically with every living quarter, we almost need another well. Because plus 11, plus 11. We need these to be like equal, essentially. Or have the wells, we have more. All right, come on, mine. Let's get another open pit mine. Now, do I want copper? Let's go ahead and get another copper one. That will have two for copper and two on iron, I guess. Okay, in flooded, resources are stored in warehouse, but each of them has a limited capacity. Place warehouses to increase your capacity for storing iron and other ores, as well as water tanks to increase your capacity for storing water. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's probably get water tanks going first. Water tank stores water capacity a thousand. That's probably not a terrible idea. Let's get one there. You know what? Maybe we need to get this other uh, mine going here. We might actually need to get more people going too. Okay, so now we've got. Okay, so now we can do three thousand. So we've got a warehouse. Guess okay, so we need another. Yeah, we need to get another iron mine going. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get this over there. And then we'll wait for, uh, we'll wait. I guess we'll go ahead and wait for 2000, uh, more iron. We'll go ahead and place one on here and on here. Does this have like a limited amount? Maybe not. Maybe it's just like X amount per like time or something. Iron stones, stones. Interesting. So there is iron elsewhere too. Don't let the water drop by a hundred. Oh, we're need, we're supposed to be building two of those. Um, okay. Hold on. Well, let's get another warehouse. Put a warehouse there, get another water deal. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were supposed to build two of each. Okay, so we got our two water tanks built. Once you complete all the injectors, you can move on to the next development era. To do that, you must play you must pay a certain number of resources by pressing the advanced button in the upper right corner. So it costs us four thousand in order to get to the next era. So that might be this area. Is that gonna be this area? Or is it, oh, are we gonna upgrade stuff here? Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. Um. Oh, we need, we don't have enough workers here. Iron miners. Oh, they're not doing anything because we have, um, they're in the, their copper's full. So I guess we'll go ahead and wait for, uh, we'll wait for 4,000 iron here and kind of see what's going on. Um, it looks like we're midday flood meter squares adjacent to the ocean will be flooded when the flood meter fills up. Oh, so these are all going to, these are all going to fill up with water. Oh, snap. We need to get going. We need to hurry up. <laughs> All right, when the flood meter is up, uh, fills up and the land tiles of the water will be flooded, the buildings placed on them will be destroyed. Keep in mind, when you're planning your development, if the miner base is flooded, you lose. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we need, I guess we have to get across here. I don't even know. Okay, so move to next era. Also, running out space on the island, should we start? putting buildings on top of buildings that's not buildings that's a strip 
No, absolutely not. We'd be better upgrading the existing ones and then build new ones on top of them. No, why are you so obsessed with that idea? Well, I've been playing this game about beavers. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Leave a comment. Let me know if you know the game they're referencing. That's so funny. <laughs> Life is not a game. We need to look, take a look at realistic options here. Okay, let's upgrade buildings. All right, uh, the electricity era unlocks buildings enabling electricity production and storage. You'll need copper to build them. Um, electricity produced can be used by existing buildings and develop unlocked technologies. Okay, so the electricity era, so there's four eras. So we unlocked an accumulator. Let's go ahead and pause things here and let's kind of see what we've got. So we've got an accumulator stores electricity capacity is that. Now, how do we, how do we generate electricity? That is my next question. Build buildings accumulator. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause and get those two built. You know what? Let's see. Do we have enough stuff to get another mine going? I think we need to get these things mined up right here too. Okay, so we've got accumulators. Oh, I built two. I was only supposed to be one. Um, solar panels. There we go. I was wondering where the what the solar panels were gonna do. Oh snap! It's happening. We're becoming flooded. All right, let's see. I want to see. Just watch the water. Watch the water. We're about to lose it all. It looks like an island. We're on the top of a mountain. Hmm. Did you know that? Uh, what do we got here? What are these? I don't know what those are. Like those piles of rocks are there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no! How terrible! Oh, that pit's gonna be gone. Okay. Oh man, this is not. <laughs> ah, this is going good. Uh, okay, so electricity. We need four solar panels. So let's do um, one, two. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, uh, let's get another open pit mine. We're gonna get this mine going right here, and we'll get that one going. There's two solar panels. So let's see what else we need. We need two thousand. Two th or we need a thousand. Okay, come on, come on, thousand. There's another one. So there's three. Now, what is the power? What is what is being used? Utilized? Is there an upgrade required to operate? Is people? Okay, and then we need another thousand. Actually, I need another two thousand for this guy. Let's get that on here. And then electricity. There's the other thousand. Let's go ahead and hit that one up. And then we'll see what we have to do next here. I feel like we might need more people. I don't know. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. Upgrade buildings. There are many ways to maintain a booming economy on a shrinking island. The simplest way to upgrade your buildings. Uh, one level two building replaces two level one buildings while taking up only one tile. In order to upgrade a building, select the one you'd like to upgrade and then click upgrade building. Uh, upgrading building requires electricity. Once you own many improved buildings, monitoring all of them may prove challenging. Use the flatten view button in the upper right corner to make all obje objects appear flat so nothing hides from your site. Okay. So hold on. What's the uh, flatten view? Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now we need to upgrade buildings, right? Okay. So if I upgrade upgrade, it costs 2000 power. We don't have 2000 power yet. Um, oh, cause it's nighttime. That's why we don't have 2000 power. So we've got that, um, houses. We could upgrade for 500 power and 125 plus a hundred hundred percent plus a hundred durability plus one performance. Um, and then if we go to this 500 and 125, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's start on this, start on this side right here. Let's go ahead and upgrade that this building is being upgraded. And then before we upgrade people, you know, let's make sure we are upgrading the water. So we have water and then maybe we can get more people in here too. So once we have enough power, it's daytime power upgrade. Okay, so this is doing 21. So we went from 12 to 21. Now, did, did I could have, oh, it's, it adds plus 12, right? Plus one performance. 
<gasps> oh, it added plus one. So I don't even, I don't, I'm actually not understanding that. 2.1. So that helped. Um, upgrade that. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade this as well. Oh, this, wait, no, no, no. I want this one. Yeah, that's 500. Okay, so we'll go ahead and upgrade that. So that's giving us more workers for these when we need them. Uh, can we upgrade these? What does this require? Okay, so that's not crazy. What do we need? Um, upgrade buildings. We got to upgrade six buildings in total. What do we need for upgrading this? 2,000 power. Woo, buddy. All right, we'll go ahead and try that one next. Plus 30 jobs. Wait, hold on. How many jobs do we have? So, yeah, we're like way over too. Like we we actually only have we have 44 workers and 135 job positions, you know? Maybe we should go ahead and upgrade a uh let's upgrade a solar panel or two. That's not a bad idea. And then maybe an accumulator. See, I'm not exactly sure because it says plus one performance. So performance is 1.10. So I would suggest, I would think this would go to 2.10. So it'd be 2100, but I'm not 100% sure. All era objectives have been achieved. Pay 8,000 copper to move on to the next area. Okay, so we have got to get um, warehousing in here. All right, so we got three warehouses coming in. Super hot. That's gonna take us to, is each one 2,000 or is each one 1,000? Each one's 1,000. Okay, so we're at 7,400. We're gonna need a little bit more, just, just, just a skosh more. Okay, there we go. Now get us over 8,000. We probably should go ahead and uh, get some water upgrades as well. Well, I guess we could upgrade, huh? I haven't even think about upgrading it. Well, let's upgrade one of those. Might as well. We're at 10,000 right now. <laughs> oh, look at our massive solar panels over here. That's that's good stuff. Actually, uh, probably wasn't hard to get those going to upgrade it as well, but let's see what era four is or what era three. We're on era three already. I mean, this is also probably just the tutorial. <laughs> but that's okay. That's fine. All right, we've got it. So move to the next era. The expansion era. Unlocked underwater mining shaft. Okay. Exciting, exciting. Gather electricity. Uh, we're about to lose some stuff here. Okay, so mining. Underwater mining shaft. Mines ore from underwater deposits required to operate is a person owned one. Surface underwater ore deposit. Um, how do I know? Oh, lead. Now what happens? Okay, hold on. Let's just wait for this to happen. We're supposed to be gathering electricity. We can't gather electricity right now. What happens when this land is gone? Can I still attach that? Do we have boats to get out there? Oh, this is not good. Because we're going to lose this this time. And then we're going to lose... Um, we're going to lose some stuff there. We're going to have to go ahead and replace some of these buildings to get things going. Okay. Um, there was a flood. You don't have enough miners. Did I lose any? Did I lose any buildings? I don't think I lost any buildings, did I? Um, okay. We don't have enough miners, though. So let's see here. We need to go ahead. Can I actually move stuff? Uh, repair, demolish. No, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get, um, mining. Let's get two more minor buildings in here. Uh, water, we probably should go ahead and get... Actually, you know what? No, we need to upgrade. Upgrade. Upgrade those. Probably would be a good idea to get some more solar in here as well. One, two, three, four. Get those going and then we'll upgrade those. So now we have more miners. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. So gather electricity. Okay, so those are gonna get upgraded. Build underwater mine shafts for one, two, three, 
four. Now, how does that work? How do we get out of those? I'm actually quite curious. We have 3,200 power right now. We're like way good on power. All right, whenever there aren't enough miners to fill the jobs, you can manage production priorities to allocate miners to spe specific resources. To do so, open the management menu. Uh, using the button in the desired lower right hand corner increase the priority of a desired resource miners will automatically move there uh, and start producing that resource in the management menu you also find tabs where you can control various gameplay options okay so uh gather electricity oh we need we need more electricity here uh let's go ahead and hit an upgrade on that one and we'll go ahead and tackle an upgrade on this guy too why not perfect more upgrades build buildings artificial ground okay so allows for the expansion of the lands islands surface area acts as regular ground oh it costs 1500 of these holy moly so if i place that there oh my gosh okay so we've got like We've got a lot of things here. Okay, let's look at this manage tab here. So if I say priority three is that, priority two is that, priority one is that. Okay, so let's see how that balances out. So the 60, they're obviously not gonna send everybody there. Okay, I like that, I can deal with that. Now this piece right here, does that, oh, that's this piece right here. Does that? go away like when the when it rises again that's gonna go away isn't it that's not gonna like float up with it see now if it would float up with it that would be the most ideal thing we're gonna place these here i don't know why i'm just gonna place them there though just to kind of see what's going on here All right, so what's our next uh, objective here? Upgrade buildings to level three. Um, okay. That's level two, level three, level three. It's easy enough. Okay, I think those are all level three now. Ooh, that's a lot of upgrading. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, not upgraded everything so fast. Oh, well. One done. Yeah, how much water is that? 31, jeez Louise. Oh yeah, oh wow. We, do, we dipped below 100 there for a little bit. 12,000 copper, huh? Okay. So let's go ahead and let's hit up, uh, upgrade some of these buildings there. That'll work. That'll get us up to the, the 12,000 mark that we probably should need. And I guess we'll go ahead and just get those real quick. And then we'll hit era four. Um, I don't think we're producing enough water here. Yeah, we're below a hundred water. That's not really great. We're gonna get these two wells right here upgraded. <laughs> Probably should go ahead and just to get those upgraded again. Hey, look at those beautiful wells. Wait, what do these trees do? Active effects, nothing. All right, we should be about ready to go on to the next era. What is the final era here? Uh, can you see the island to the southeast, Henry? Um, southeast. A wave took my compass while I was relaxing at the beach. Uh, good thing to take it. Uh, this island is in the bottom right corner. See? Yeah, I've seen that. You're right. It lies a bit higher than ours. Plus, it looks... It's close enough that we only need to build a long bridge to get there. Exactly. We better get down to work. Soon our island will be nothing but a memory. Is this island a new era? Build a bridge between the islands... Using artificial ground. Okay. Um, that's not bad. There. Ta-da! We've done it. 
is this actually that much higher like it doesn't look that much higher like in all honesty it, it looks the same but then again i don't know Ta -da! we've done it now what <laughs> victory that's it hey we did it <laughs> it's time to go uh play down building success 42 buildings upgraded um okay so now oh oh there's chapters time to set sail oh so there's gonna be like a whole bunch of chapters i didn't think this was gonna be like that kind of that's cool that's super neato so like i can see that we did we finished this game easy enough so this game calm seas moderate clouds rain speeds up the flood meter and puts out fires diamond pickaxe allows you to mine or alongside your miners use this relic to click on any mine oh, that's super cool that is pretty interesting um now if i show all relics oh so there's like other relics so there's other things that we could choose and then like oh, there's other people too eventually right yep that's pretty cool allows you to perform actions while the time is paused the game has been designed to be played without it but using it won't affect the possibility of earning achievements okay see i like active pause i like being able to play stuff while i'm paused just to get, get an idea but i you know i get it i'm just gonna leave it alone i'm not gonna do it um passive ability collect work adjacent buildings of the same type work more effectively and starting bonus underwater mining shaft mine ores from underwater deposits that's pretty cool uh, but that, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. That's Flooded. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Um, I think we'll be back playing more, checking this out. This is pretty neat. Um, I want to see, I want to, like, I bet you it gets a lot harder. <laughs> um, yeah, I bet you it, I bet you it gets a lot harder. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to check it out and see where it goes. But if you're interested, I'll link down below. And uh, I think it's, like, only, like, $12.99 or something. It's it's super cheap on um, on Steam. So, well, don't quote me because it might be more than that. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cheap on Steam. So, if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, but thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.